opportunity on behalf of uh, His Excellency the President to welcome you to Sierra Leone for the 67th Annual Council meeting. Uh, when I took over as Minister of Government, one of the first things brought to my attention as one of the important events for 2019 has to do with the hosting of this particular Council meeting. As a government, we are very much uh, pleased to be members of this great institution. All of us serving in the government, 99%, all of us passed through the West African Examinations Council. So the issue about emphasizing its relevance cannot be overemphasized because most of us are products from the institution itself. So it goes without saying that the institution has made remarkable progress. And if that is the case, what is expected of us is to make sure we try to maintain, no? Um, I know the rest of the delegation members uh, who have uh, associated themselves with the past, which I mean, agree with me that this is a country that you know, has played a very important role as far as education in this particular is concerned. And uh, we know there have been challenges about this, but we are hoping and praying that as we move forward, the union can regain you know, the position that we had once had, you know, I mean, in, in the educational landscape in our West African region. Um, I myself, and, and I very proudly say that I was educated here in Sierra Leone, and I'm very happy to say that <laughs> WAEC being an institution that plays a very important role in that educational you know, and, uh, landscape, I think um, our duty as those who benefited from the education systems of our respective countries um, is to help and support to maintain the standards that they have. That is exactly the reason why the President retired Brigadier General Julius Madabio is making the delivery of quality education a priority in its new direction, Human Capital Development Agenda for Sierra Leone. The support from fellow Sierra Leoneans is significant in this drive for Sierra Leone to regain its lost glory, as explained by the Chairman of the West African Examination Council, Mr. Bubaka Boy. Mr. Boy also paid a courtesy call on the Mayor of, of the Freetown City Council, Ivan Akisoya, in fulfillment of the Wayek Treaty, which the Dictate such cuts to call by its leadership. I wasn't aware of the key situation, <laughs> but I have something else to offer you, <laughs> which is the overview, if I'll just pass these along, the overview of our plans to transform the city. And in many ways, this is the key to the city because rather than just having a symbolic key, which you know would open doors, really the transform Freetown plan is our agenda to open the minds of our city and to unlock its future. This sits in the you know, you know, work that why is actually a very strong It's a challenge, but I think it fits very neatly into the work that why is doing, especially fighting examination and practice. I hope and pray that the CGM of Sierra Leone will use this as an opportunity to engage other parts of Sierra Leone to have a similar you know, vision. It could be recalled that before now, the Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, Honorable Alpha Timbo, had ordered for a special meeting of education stakeholders to be held on the conduct of public examinations, starting with urban areas like Freetown, with the main purpose of enhancing credibility and quality to public examinations. The Minister's action is in line with the principal objectives of the President, retired Brigadier General Julius Madabios, led administration's implementation of the free quality program in Sierra Leone.